Okay, so let's take a look at what Jim recently had done here. Jim, you want to tell us what these are? Those are plugs in all four nasal lacrimal ducts. They were placed there because of excessive dryness of the eye. They're done by an ophthalmologist in the office, and a small little plastic plug is inserted into the lacrimal ducts, uh, sometimes one, two, three, or four. In my case, I had all four of them put in. They generally stay in, but they can come out. The problem with this one is, on this eye, I feel that it's coming out because I can feel it in the eye. I can't feel these other three. So as you can see, this one over here in the top of his left eye is just a little more prominent than this one over here. See, this one is not as prominent, so it's sticking into his eye here and it's hurting him. These ones should stick up just a little, the ones on the bottom. So those actually look like they're in pretty good placement. So the thing that we're gonna do, if we're gonna help this guy out so he doesn't have to go right back to the ophthalmologist, is push that in just a little bit more in that upper portion. Now, but you can use just a regular Q-tip so you can get um, any kind of your Q-tips you have in the department to try and, and push this back in a little bit. Well, the first thing we're going to do is put a little numbing drop in here. Remember these sting. So you might want to warn the patient that they sting quite a bit. That hurt a lot. Uh, just a little bit of irritation. Yeah, so first you get that initial burn, then you get that Ow, that really hurts burn, and then it, it gets better. So you wait about 30 seconds to a minute. And, you know, you always, like I said, have good lighting and have the patient in a patient uh, in a position of comfort so that when you do this, um, they can tolerate the procedure. It shouldn't take very long. Are your eyes feeling a little more heavy and numb? Yes. Okay, good. So, so we're going to take our little Q-tip here and... Just gonna turn this way for me, please. And we're just gonna push a little bit on that plug so it goes back up into the duct. Just a little bit of pressure, and it slides right back in. That particular one was difficult for the ophthalmologist to put in there. He had to dilate the duct with an instrument, and it took him quite a while to get that one. The other ones went in just very quickly. So I can see why there'd be problems. So it's really good just to check the position of the other ones to make sure that they look rather similar. And they do now. They look rather similar. Before, this one was much more prominent. One of the things that you have to remember is that the numbing drops don't numb the actual lids or the skin. It only numbs the actual eye. So they wear off very quickly, but the reason why we want to use some numbing drops is because you're going to be holding the patient's eye down and possibly touching their eye while you push the plug back into the duct, and that can be rather annoying for them. So you're going to have to wait at least a full five minutes to go back and check the patient's eye because the numbing medicine will wear off, and you will know whether or not the plug is still irritating the eye. So we've waited a full five minutes now. We've gone back. And he says that he can still feel it. And we can see that it slipped out a little bit there. So we're going to have to push it in a little bit more. We didn't get it quite fully in there. How's that? I think that feels better. Yeah, you did it. I don't feel, I don't feel it when I blink anymore. We'll see if it stays in. So we'll wait about five minutes, and if we have to, we'll do another push with the Q-tip and see if maybe we can get it to be more comfortable for the patient. Occasionally, the problem with these is that if they're causing the patient too much irritation, they just have to be removed. But you really should consult the ophthalmologist before doing that. So the purpose of these plugs is to keep the lacrimal duct from draining tears and keep the eye more moist. One of the side effects is that you could have a little watering of the eyes because if all four uh, nasal lacrimal ducts are blocked, the, the tears have to roll out to the side. I felt that my eyes are much more watery with the four in there, but I haven't had any excessive tearing. I actually had my eye tear production measured and it was really very low. They measured by putting a little uh, color shimmel test where they put a little piece of, of a absorbent paper in the eye 
and see how much it goes out. And mine was very, very low. So I had very little tear production. A man who doesn't cry very much. So Sometimes uh, restasis is prescribed. It may take a couple months for that to work, though.